Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here and it shows the relationship between we've got our input numbers, we have our output numbers, and it's generated by a number machine. And these number machines are, well, we don't know what it is. It's A, B, C, or D. We need to find a number machine that shows the same relationship between the one and the table. So we've got our inputs, one, two, three, four. So that's just going up by one. We have our outputs. 15, 16, 17, 18, looks like that's just going up by one. But when we look at input output, we don't necessarily look up and down. We look side to side because that's where our input and our output is. So what these machines mean is that we should be able to, like, let's take this A, for instance, this plus 14. If we input a one, make it go through the machine, we should be able to get a 15. And if we input, let's just take this last one, 4, we should be able to make it go through the machine and output an 18, because that's what's matched to it. So 1 is matched to 15, and 4 is matched to 18. And these right here, these are basically acting like your rule. If you're used to thinking of an input-output table as having a rule, that's what we're looking for, is the rule. So does this work? Does 1 plus 14, 1 plus 14, yeah, that does work, that's 15. Uh, let's try that 4, 4 plus 14, yep, that's 18. Uh, let's just double check the other two, we might have our answer, obviously we're still going to have to go through and show that the other ones are incorrect, but let's check 2, so if we get 2 plus 14, that's our machine there, we should get 16, and 2 plus 14 does make 16. 3, make it go through that plus 14 machine, we should be able to get a 17, and that is correct. All right, so A is definitely looking good, but let's just see why it doesn't work for B, C, or D. So let's just start with this let's input of 1, output of 15. See, look at that, 1 times 15 equals 15, so that definitely does work. 1 times 15 equals 15. So was I incorrect about A? Let's do what we did last time. Let's just go to the bottom one. 4 times 15 should make 18. Uh, that's where it breaks down. 4 times 15 does not make 18. Uh, I'm just going to flip that around using the commutative property. I'm going to do a little 2 by 1. That's going to be 20. That's 60. There's our problem. So this times 15 rule works for the first pair, the 1 and the 15. But it doesn't work for, I, I don't think it's going to work for any of the other ones, the 2, the 3, or the 4. So that's why that's incorrect. So let's check our 1 and 15. So 1 times 8, I'm going to put that right here, definitely does not make 15, it makes 8, so that's incorrect. 4 times 8 definitely does not make 18, that's just a basic fact, 4 times 8, that equals 32. Don't know why times 8 would even be close, that doesn't, at least times 15 worked for the first one, times 8 just doesn't quite work. And then D, this is where it's deceptive. We, if we don't know how the input-output works, take a look what happens if I go down. 1 plus 1 makes 2. 2 plus 1 makes 3. 3 plus 1 makes 4. Same with the output. 15 plus 1 makes 16. Plus 1 makes 17. Plus 1 makes 18. But you have to go side to side. 1 plus 1 equals 2, not 15. 4 plus 1 equals 5 not 18. So our answer is A.